Well, suddenly we're in a bit of a pickle here. We got the ferry coming in. Cracked the shear pin on Mr. Tahatsu. And I'm trying to tack through this narrow entrance. So I decide to follow conventional wisdom, perhaps best expressed by the famous sailor Jimmy Cornell, as the difference between the purists and the realists. Where the realists employ a reliable engine to get, at, get in and out of tight places, rather than trying to perform sailing stunts. So I put the outboard on and was motoring out through the entrance to Hadley Harbor when the outboard breaks a shear pin. And I don't have the staysail rig, so she doesn't have any driving power. All right, well, that was relatively painless. problem is this guy's wake. Say, you don't need much wake, it'll just absolutely stop her dead. Okay, the wind is coming at a little more favorable angle, though, so that's good. Let's see, you get this guy's following transverse wake, and it's, it's very hard for the boat to get up any speed. Come on, baby. Come on. Now ah, we're still, still got this guy's transverse. Come on, baby. Come around. Come around, baby. Good girl. Good girl. All right, scrambled out, got the staysail up. So she's got some driving power now. So now we're starting to escape. Oh, we are just barely going to make it on this port tack here. It looks like we will make it nonetheless. Yeah, we are fighting some current here. No wonder it's a little hard for us. All right, we can relax a little bit. But I think we're going to get into contrary current from Woods Hall, so we, we want to attack and get underneath here. See there, we were flopping around now. Now the clue on the, on the code zero is lifting. She's starting to move. She's just, she's just starting to come alive again. It's just such a great feeling. And by the way, I, I field I field serviced Mr. Tahatsu there. And when it was calm, or relatively calm, I did it from Baby Ruth. It's a little tricky, but managed to get the new shear pin in without losing it in the drink, so that's good. Well, it looks like we're gonna get a nice breeze here. Massachusetts and we're in Buzzards Bay currently heading southwest and uh, as soon as we get around Cuddyhunk we'll come to uh, <coughs> kind of a south to southeast heading and then southeast and we are on our way to Harpswell, Maine. Now you're probably thinking wait a minute I thought Maine was north of Massachusetts and indeed 
Maine is north of Massachusetts, so why are we sailing south? Well, well, first of all, you should know as a general rule, in an engineless sailing boat, actually being able to steer for your destination is a luxury. Now, the strategy here is previously I've gone uh, down Vineyard Sound and uh, out through uh, the Round Shoal Channel. There's two channels you can go from, uh, from Nantucket Sound, Vineyard Sound, uh, out, into, uh, out into the Atlantic, uh, into the Great South Channel. Uh, one is the Round Shoal Channel and the other is Pollock Rip. I've never attempted Pollock Rip because uh, the currents that run through there are very strong. Uh, Round Shoal seems to be about a knot and a half, two knots. Um, and I've been through there many times. However, I gotta tell you, uh, going through there in an engineless boat just always gives me the heebie-jeebies. Um, because still the currents are strong and I found the last time when I came in the wind went fickle on me and uh, I, I could hear just roaring surf around me. And uh, I, I gotta tell you, it just, it just scared the hell out of me. So, so this time the general plan is we have these easterly winds today um, and so as soon as I get clear of uh, Martha's Vineyard I'm going to steer for Nantucket Light or as close as I can comfortably sail to the wind and, uh, and then the forecast is tomorrow these winds are going to veer uh, southeast and then and gradually veering uh, south to southwest and we should have light and uh, light if we're lucky light to moderate south to southwest winds um, until Friday. Uh, then it looks like uh, we, we're going to get a blast from the northeast. Hopefully I'll be pretty close to Maine by then, so it'll just, uh, I'll come into Maine on a screaming rage. That's the plan anyway. And uh, so going out to Nantucket Light, uh, that keeps me all, all in safe water. And uh, it, does, it does add distance though, for sure. It adds about 80 miles. So, uh, near, nearly a day of sailing. Um, now, if we had an inboard, of course, the much more direct route is the Cape Cod Canal. Um, and from here, from here to Maine, if you go through the canal, it's a little less than 200 miles, a little, yeah, a little less than 200 miles. It's about 100 and, uh, I uh, blocked it off. I think it's about 180, 190 miles. Um, Whereas uh, the route we're taking is about 300, so it's uh, so the Cape Cod Canal shaves over 100 miles off your trip, and uh, so now you know why they dug that canal. So that small island dead to windward is no man's land. And I think it's uninhabitable and uninhabited and largely uninhabitable. And there's Martha's Vineyard, that big bluff is the bluff formerly known as Gay Head. I think they, uh, the, I see on the maps now, they changed the name. So maybe, maybe the uh, LGBTQ community complained about cultural appropriation or something. Um, and so, yeah, well, I saw this on the le weather maps that we were going to start off slamming to windward here, and that's what we're doing. So, oh ah, uh, aren't we just all having fun out here? At least it's a nice sunny day. It's cold though, because the water's cold. Uh, all right. Now, and of course, probably by tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting there saying, well, at least when I was slamming to windward, I had wind. Now the sun sets on our first night at sea here our little craft claws her way to windward. Ah. So it's Wednesday the 31st of uh, May 2023 and we're right right where the green uh, marker is. And uh, winds are pretty, those are pretty accurate. We got, uh, what's it saying? Yeah, that's just about right. 
heading about kind of east northeast at nine knots. I'm continuing. I I'm heading further south here and hoping to hang on to these little better winds and hoping that these winds are going to work. It's almost noon now and uh, hopefully they're going to work a little more southeast so we get down here than tack and uh, that's this afternoon and then by the, by the evening by five o'clock we got east to southeast and uh, the shoals Nantucket light is right around here and then in here is all these shoals you can cut them a bit but not too much and then hopefully uh, yeah hopefully by uh, by midnight we'll have nice southeast winds and we'll get around the shoals and then begin uh, then be on our way north toward Maine well wind if you want to veer southeast I mean just just any time now no, no need to, uh, no need to stand on ceremony here. They are camera shy. Oh. Seems like every t every time I train the camera on them, they go the other way. Look at them all. <laughs> ah, there they are. That's the first time I've ever seen a ship painted pink. Well, good morning. It's the 1st of June, 2023. And, well, basically our weather situation has just gone to shit. Um, that's the frustration coming through. We still have these easterly winds. They will not go southerly. So I'm having to beat out to Nantucket Light. Um, and it's fairly calm. I mean, it's we were become most of last night, so we were drifting. We actually lost some ground. So to continue, while I'm, why I am growling this morning, um, and you might wonder how I'm getting my weather. I'm getting it from, uh, actually I can pick up VHF. I'm close enough to uh, Nantucket and the islands to pick up VHF weather. Um, so we're having to beat out to Nantucket light against very light winds. We were becalmed last night. So it's just, it's just absolutely excruciatingly slow progress. Um, and I mean, while it's pleasant out here, the problem is, is we got this blast from the northeast coming. And it's more than a blast. It's going to last for about three days. Of, uh, of, uh, it's going to start tomorrow night. Uh, 10 to 20 knots. That's not too bad. But then um, uh, Friday, and then Saturday increasing to 20 to 30 knots. And it's going to blow 20 to 30 all the way through the weekend out of the north northeast. Which means, uh, so the only strategy now is to try to get clear of the shoals and, uh, and just to try to get as far east as possible. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. The forecast for this area, north of here is all south to southwest winds. It's all kind of 10 to 15. So it's beautiful sailing north of here. But the problem is I'm caught. I can't get out of here. Consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. As a patron, you will be able to view my videos free of ads. You will also be able to leave comments, ask questions, and message me directly. You can become a patron for as little as $5 a month.